This courthouse was built in 1906 and shortly after the clock was put in and, and operational. I think the first time I went up I was rather awestruck just with the size of the clock. I'd never been around a clock other than a household clock before and to see the size of it, it was so big and I was just, I think, awestruck with, wow, here's this old clock that doesn't run on electricity, purely mechanical, you know, and it's been running for a, over a hundred years. I, I think I just kind of fell in love right from the start. This would be technology that would have been cutting edge and happening when my grandfather and my great-grandfather were alive. I grew up knowing, living actually with my grandfather. He always recounted seeing the first airplane fly over, seeing the first car that ever he was born before the turn of the century over a hundred years ago. Here we still have something that's just beautifully crafted pieces of metal that, that just mechanically run. It's kind of a tie to the past. The clock will run for a week, so at least once a week I need to go up the tower to keep the clock running. It's a purely mechanical clock. The only role whatsoever the electricity plays is to light a light bulb at night that shines to light up the four clock dials so that people outside can see. Other than that, it's purely mechanical. There's large weights that hang from a cable, and that gravitational pull of those weights is what runs the clock, and so slowly those weights work their way down quite a distance and it takes a week's time till they would reach the bottom and rest there and then the clock would stop running. So once every week, at a minimum, I need to get up and, and literally wind the clock, turning a crank to lift that weight up so it can run for another week. I think it's a privilege to have a part in keeping the clock going for, for the future. As long as this courthouse that's over 100 years old is still in day-to-day -day use, I, I'd love to see the clock continue to be maintained and continue functioning for the next generation to see. Today, everything's electronic and digital and, and and yet here in Marion County, Kansas, that mechanical clock for over 100 years later is still chiming out. And you, if you visit town here, you'll hear it on the hour. It's only in a place like here, small town, Kansas, where there's still a functioning mechanical clock that hasn't been converted over to something modern. You're still paying a person on a week-by-week -week basis to go up and wind. Not many places continue to do that. <laughs> 